So, hello and welcome to our little game session here. Um, I'm Zinni from the marketing team here at Handy Games and I have with me René. Hi, uh, as he said, I'm René and I'm from the QA, which means I'm testing Lethal Honor Order of the Apocalypse. Yeah, nice. This is our upcoming game and we want to show you some gameplay and uh, yeah. why you just start? Yeah, I think we should just start. So. Yeah. Um, I don't know, have you ever seen something about Lethal Honor yet, or should I just explain? Uh, uh, a little bit, because we're doing marketing for the game, so, guess, okay, so. We, we know a little yeah. bit of uh, screenshots and, and uh, gameplay play clips, but uh, overall you can say, um, what's the game about, and mm -hmm. yeah, what's, so, uh, yeah, what's the gameplay loop? Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. So, the thing is, uh, where we just started, this is uh, called The Cradle, and uh, I am playing an agent, and he just woke up and he came out of this capsule with water inside and you can see the background. Mm -hmm. So this is like a small teaser that I'm not the only agent here. <laughs> okay. And okay. Um, So you have different yeah. agents. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Um, of course, I don't want to tell too much about it, um, but let's just call this guy the agent or unknown agent, whatever. <laughs> um, I've prepared some things to uh, show you. Um, so. As you can see, I have uh, two other weapons here. At the moment, I have the uh, katana, and um, I will take a second weapon, which is my personal favorite, the hammer, <laughs> or war hammer. Nice. Um, and also, we get some nice uh, abilities here. So, I will take an artifact. Mm -hmm. um, I will tell more about these later, of course, so we don't need to read all the descriptions. Uh, also, I will take these two. These are active abilities. Okay. Um, the artifacts are like passive um, and enhancements or like passive abilities, so you don't have to any do anything. Mm -hmm. You just uh, have them in your inventory and they boost you in many different ways. Um, but let's see, um, now we are in the node selection and I can decide where to go. So I have three options. Mm -hmm. um, always three options? Always, or? yeah, most of the time. Mm -hmm. Not always, but most of the time. And. Um, they have, um, there are some differences here and uh, I will just take the first one because um, there's different kind of loot inside these new rooms or notes as we call them and um, in the note selection you can even see something about what might be inside. Um, so now it started very quickly as you, uh, as you saw. Um, it just enter the room and the enemies are spawning. Of course, there will be a lot of more explanation about this. So, um, right now I skipped the part of um, the intro and uh, where things are explained. So we just started right into it, into a normal run. Um, and the first room is cleared, as you can see, and I activated something, but I will show you this okay. later and again. There was something like teleport, so exactly. maybe you <laughs> so could teleport of course, somewhere. Again, it's a teaser. Oh, we can just mm -hmm. go inside. Um, we were very lucky because this is something I activated. Um, you don't have this from the beginning. Mm -hmm. as, and again, this is a teaser for later. Um, let me go inside. Um, this is a secret room. Um, and we get some upgrades here. You can... Uh, use. You just saw there are artifacts. And also we have um, the abilities, like active and passive abilities. And also we got uh, enchantments. So I can decide which one to take. And for now, I will just take the loot chest demon essence upgrade. So from now on, I will get more essences, mm -hmm. which means like it's a resource. So you can oh, okay. buy things with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and this will help me later for the whole run. Um, in fact, I like the hammer the most because it, it just feels nice slamming them to the ground. As you can see, if I hit the enemies, there is a uh, knockback. So I hit the enemy and I can smash him into the wall. So this will do extra damage. <laughs> so this is uh, special for the war hammer that you have this uh, uh, backslash? Uh, not just for the hammer. Mm -hmm. So, um, like every weapon has a knockback and there are even some abilities and artifacts which increase the knockback. Maybe this was a spoiler, but <laughs> you will just find out there's many, many different ways. Um, also, 
Ah, I think this was too quick, but this enemy, he had a shield on himself. And um, this is explained in the tutorial again. Um, the shield, he, uh, it saves him and I have to break the shield in a special way. So I can just normally attack him. I need to do something to break the shield. Mm. In this case, I knocked him into the wall, okay. which break the shield and yeah. Uh, yeah, this way I could kill him. Um, here's a chest. I can't open it yet because I need a decipher. It's a like a key, a key card, yeah. it's a key card here as well. Um, so we'll just have to skip for now. Mm -hmm. For some people this might seem frustrating, but uh, there are also different ways to make it easier. Um, so you can come back later or is it just uh, for this run then you cannot open it and you have to do yeah. a new one? Exactly. Um, in this case I was just unlucky because mm -hmm. uh, I can get the deciphers on different ways. Like decipher is just the key again. Um, and also there are some upgrades where it's, it will be easier to get a key. Um, so I can save them for later. And uh, yeah, so I will always be prepared to open these chests or doors in any way. But yeah, we just began the round and the run, so let us check again. Um, we are in the north selection again. And I will choose this side because um, there are many different items in this game and maybe for now for just a few uh, for just a, a short uh, sneak preview or something this might be a bit too much um, in a short time but uh, I can increase my stats for example okay. um, and you see it with this little icon uh, exactly yeah. Yeah. Um, I've tested it so many times so I of course I know how it works mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but uh, there are stats uh, which increase my, for example, my damage, my armor, my res resistance, also my active abilities. I can boost my active abilities. And the thing is, I can choose how to do my run. Um, I, can, I can decide if I want to do a run like if I go for normal strength items or strength stats boosts, or if I want to increase my uh, damage for the abilities. And this way I can do the run again and again and always try something different. Yeah. In this case, um, you can see on the bottom right side of uh, the screen, um, there's this shadow um, thing. Uh, I just increased my uh, shadow. Shadow is a system in this game which increases the difficulty. Okay. So, yeah. I think the people couldn't see it because we are in uh, ah, we are in the corner, okay. In this corner. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's behind us. <laughs> um, the shadow system is um, here to make the game more difficult, but sometimes you can decide if you want to make it more difficult or not, because in this case I opened the door, but I don't have to open the door, of course. So, um, always when there's a door which is closed um, with the price of shadow, I know there's something inside which um, makes me stronger. For example, this was the enchantment table, um, but I don't need to go this way because if the shadow level increases, the enemies will get stronger, or they will become stronger and uh, hit harder, <laughs> oh. and also they uh, will have more HP and stuff like that. So you can imagine, um, of course I can open this one door, but just think about opening many doors like this and uh, it's getting harder and harder. at one point in the game you will notice uh, the enemies <laughs> kind of strong. So, in this case you can see the indicators, so the enemies have different kinds of attacks and I can dodge by dashing around <laughs> or just kill them <laughs> before they finish the attack. Um, since we are in the beginning of the run, the enemies are kind of small and tiny and they don't hit that hard, but Again, another teaser, they are, <laughs> well, they are different kind of enemies and uh, some of them hit really hard, so you need to be careful. You can't just tank the attack. Yeah, I think we spoilers also in the teaser Yeah, trailer, exactly. So, so. Yeah. <laughs> if you saw the trailer, there are some really big guys hitting you and uh, you should not tank it. Um, in this case, um, I get a module. A module um, is just a stat boost. Like, I have a slots in my inventory up to two slots in the beginning and um, so I, have, have, I can have two modules and they boost my stats. For example, in this case I get 10 HP, I get 4 strength and 4 int intelligence and um, 
The intelligence, uh, for example, boosts my damage for the active abilities. Oh, okay. And that's what I said. If you get another module, but your module uh, slots are full, then you can decide if you want to swap them. So you can rebuild your agent in the run and you can focus more on intelligence or strength or armor or what else. Um, yeah. So it's your decision. And you have always two weapons? Um, in, not in the beginning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you can have up to two weapons, yes. Mm -hmm. And you have to choose at the cradle what you want to do. Um, but uh, you can also decide if you just want to play with one weapon. Um, for me, it's just sometimes I like it more if I just uh, hit fast and quickly, like now. Um, but yeah, the hammer is my <laughs> all-time favorite, as I already said. And uh, so I swap uh, these around, um, sometimes depending on the enemies, because in my opinion, if there are many enemies in the, in the room, it's uh, very much fun to hit them with a the hammer, because it's it got an AOE. Oh. As you can see, it hit, hits many people. The same for the katana, but it's a bit smaller. And um, yeah, it depends. For example, if they if they um, clump into each other, if there's one big circle of enemies and they are all together, I, I will just use the hammer. If I need to finish one of them, uh, which is on this side, I will usually take the katana, because it's a bit faster. Also, if the enemies are low HP, I can use the katana just to finish them, because the hammer it's a bit slow sometimes, mm -hmm. and yeah. yeah. And I think everybody has a different play style. So exactly. Yeah. yeah, you can decide. Yeah. Here's also some um, some bombs, some barrels uh, standing around. I can use them, of course, in my play style um, to hit the enemies as well. But I need to be careful because they hit me as well. Oh, we got a decipher. So somewhere we looted a decipher and we can uh, enter this uh, room here and get some more upgrades. So maybe we should have a look at the upgrades this time because yeah, sure. the last times I just skipped them. In this case we got uh, critical stats. When the HP um, decreases below 20% I get boost. And uh, on the other hand I get more demon essences. I already took this one in the beginning. I could upgrade it by taking this one again. Okay. But I don't want to, <laughs> so I want a boost. So in case if I get low HP, um, I can just survive a little bit longer. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, very useful, in my opinion. Um, this note that I just took is a uh, shop note, I think. Ah, yeah, it's the shop. Um, let me just show it. So this guy. He's selling things, <laughs> so we can trade the demon essences which we got by killing enemies and uh, destroying objects and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, we can trade it and um, we can take different artifacts and boosts and materials. Materials can be used to um, craft, or not to craft, sorry, to upgrade your weapon. Okay. Because there are different ailments. And first, let me take something. Um, or just take these and now yeah I don't have enough demon essences to buy anything more okay I can buy the quintessence um, I just talked about the ailments um, the ailments are like er, some people will call it status effects so it's just um, like an ailment if you have an ailment on an enemy um, they will be weakened in some way so you have special effects um, for example, let's say something like armor penetration. Um, again, I don't want to uh, um, spoil it too much about the game, but there are many different ways, uh, many different ailments, and uh, you can combine them with your abilities and your whole setup, like the weapon, the artifacts, together with active abilities and your playstyle. You can just find your own way. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but it's not that you the, 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 the things you find are totally random. It's not like you're going this way and you will find the special ability you want. Uh, yeah, um, like every one is uh, every run is uh, different. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if I would die now as the agent, um, I can redo the run, but it will be different. 
-hmm. because uh, um, the uh, the whole node, the whole map is uh, generated uh, different each time. So it doesn't feel the same because it would be kind of boring if you uh, sure. do the same run all over again. Um, the good thing, of course, is because every time you do the run, every time it's different, and that's why it's a roguelite, of mm -hmm. course. Um, I think we don't have to explain what a roguelike is about. It. Uh, yeah, I think everybody knows nowadays what it means. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. In this case, uh, the story is also um, very important because this is not just a roguelite where you have to. Um, slash enemies the whole time. Um, we have uh, a story, mm -hmm. a very detailed story, about um, what's happening there. Because in this case I'm playing um, the agent and uh, I'm in a state of the game where you have to do missions to, do, to achieve something. But um, when you start the game the first time, um, there's a lot of story for the beginning, so you know what's happening at all, why are there demons, uh, why are you an agent, who, who are you? And okay. uh, and how does this fit together, the narrative with the roguelike elements? Um, I think it fits very well, because um, there are different kinds of players. Some just want to um, hack and slash through the game, mm. but others like um, some deep lore, um, because we get different characters in this game. Um, they behave in different ways, and uh, you will like some, maybe you will hate some. <laughs> and um, also, there's some mysteries, of course, in this game. Um, as you can imagine, I'm, I'm an agent in a laboratory, and um, there are demons, so there are some things uh, which are very strange. And not just the agent is wondering what's happening here, but also you as a player are sometimes wondering. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Uh, I, we didn't talk about the setting. It's uh, a little bit crazy. You have all this demon stuff and you're in a laboratory, so... Yeah. Can you tell something about it? Yeah, oh. I think so. I think so. <laughs> um, maybe if, if you saw the trailer, um, there's you, you can see some, um, some pictures of the tutorial there. Mm -hmm. um, you begin this game by waking up as an agent as well, like the agent is called Aaron. And uh, I think it's well made because you're wondering as an agent, where the, where the hell am I? <laughs> and uh, you're uh, in the beginning of the lab here in this case, and you meet Ada. Ada is uh, one of the other characters and um, like she's explaining you a bit about what's happening. For example, these demons um, attacked the lab, and um, the lab, the lab, by the way, here where we are, this is Lethal Honor. This is like the institute, uh, a secret institute, and they um, do researches about supernatural things or phenomena. Um, so one day. <laughs> Something went wrong. Something went wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you should, you, should, you should just play the tutorial to learn about how it happened, why it happened. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you can see it's a <laughs> kind of bad state. Yeah. Some, some guys lying around here in every corner, stones, and um, <laughs> yeah. it's kind of hard for them. So you try to survive. Maybe it's uh, not healthy to read in demon books. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, also, how this happened is a, is a interesting thing, but this is one point I will not talk about it too much because it's a very nice thing if you learn it and if you play it for the first time and uh, you find, out, you what find out what's happening about. and then like the puzzle gets together and mm -hmm. uh, everything makes sense and uh, it's a very nice feeling. Of course, if you don't like um, talking too much and um, you just want to play the game, um, you can of course focus just on the gameplay in this case. Um, but yeah, just just try out. <laughs> just try to listen um, and to, re to read this 
Um, as you can see, it's a very nice comic style. Uh, I personally really like it. Um, also, again in the trailer we showed, um, you can see there's like cinematics, um, animated cinematics. Yeah. Um, and these look so cool, <laughs> it's very nice. Um, with the music and the sounds and... Uh, there will be so more, so much more of this in the game. Um, so, so you get forced to play longer to see more of these cutscenes and get more uh, yep. story revealed and everything. Yep. So uh, this is a very good thing because you don't need to just hack and slay all the time like we are just doing it. Mm -hmm. um, from time to time, you get cinematics about the law, the, like the story uh, will continue all the time, mm -hmm. and. For example, if we had enough time now, we could uh, show the end of this run and what happens. And it's very exciting, but I don't think we have enough time for now. <laughs> That's, um, so these uh, runs are very long? Um, depends on you. Mm. Um, I think the first time it will take a bit more time, of course, because you need to find out about um, the game mechanics, how you attack, how you dodge, and it might be a little hard in the beginning. But um, there's a meta progression, which means if I finish this run... Uh, sorry, what yeah. was the store? Uh, this was not a store, this was the price to enter this. Yeah. Um, so so yeah. you lose health? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. The thing is, um, I don't have enough health. <laughs> so you will and die to open yeah. the door. And even if I had, it would be very risky. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's a high risk, high reward thing, because you need to think about if you want to go inside. Um, because, yeah. Health is the most uh, important thing here, mm. because if you die, the run is over and everything you have collected and achieved is gone. So, um, yeah, it's high risk to go inside, but usually it's high reward, because uh, mm. what's inside might uh, boost you uh, very much and help you very much in your build of your artifacts and abilities and stuff like that. Yeah. Is it for me possible to enter run all the time or do I have to get to a special point to exit the run? Um, let's say you can end it all the time by surrendering, <laughs> okay. which should be no option. So um, yeah, you need to end the run um, to like continue in the story. Um, but the meta progression, like uh, what I just told about, you get uh, resources you can send. Um, to the awakening room, the awakening room, I will show it to you in the end, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, you can like save it for later, some resources. Not everything will be gone. So you won't feel like the run was for nothing. Okay. <laughs> and um, you will save the materials and you can use them to upgrade your other agents. Mm -hmm. um, so in the future you will be stronger and it will be worth it that you played the whole run. And even if you died, there's a chance and there's some options how you can save more materials. Okay. Yeah. As you can see, the enemies are coming, uh, are becoming a bit bigger, I think. And I need to be careful because oh, one of these guys, he's, uh, <laughs> he's making the floor lava. <laughs> so <laughs> the floor is lava becomes a real thing here. Okay. Mm. So, um, is this game, in the beginning, is it easy because you are running here like a maniac through the <laughs> floors? Um, or, or are you so boosted and so talented that uh, you don't die? It's, I think it's a mix. <laughs> okay. Because I've played so many uh, hours in this game. Um, of course, I know how to play it and how to dodge and uh, that you have, sometimes you have to be very quick. Um, and on top, I I'm not starting at the lowest point right now. Um, to show you the game, I started like I, uh, I um, in the meta progression, mm. I gave, I, I uh, unlocked some things. That's what I wanted to say. Okay. Um, I can show you this thing in the end because the expertise, I told about the um, materials you can uh, save for later. And with these materials, you can upgrade the meta progression in the awakening room. The awakening room is like, um, the pause where you can walk around and everybody uh, everybody is safe. So the hub. The hub, yeah, the hub is a perfect uh, description. Um, so there I can upgrade my agent, I can upgrade other things. Um, 
and from time to time you will uh, have more options again. So, yeah, in this case I unlocked some things which make me a bit stronger. Um, I think I can just tell it. So, in this case I gave my agent more strength. Mm -hmm. So when this agent woke up, he started with more strength. So it's a bit easier. Um, and to answer your question, um, in the beginning it will be a bit harder, I think. And as I said, you're not that experienced in the beginning, of course. You need, yeah, to, sure. you need to find out how the enemies work, how they attack. Um, and also you don't have uh, any um, expertise upgrades unlocked. So we are collecting many uh, enchantments and artifacts and abilities now. So there should be formed a build and there might even be some things which uh, have a nice synergy with each other. Um, and I will have to look for them. Uh, for example, I just attacked the whole time, but I didn't even show the abilities. <laughs> <laughs> and um, in this case, I can uh, do different... Um, I can throw different projectiles and... Uh, I think I will try to find something, because in the node selection I can decide if I want to uh, get abilities. It's really funny because in this case, the symbols that are inside these nodes, this means there is an uh, active ability. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's really funny because I just told you I want to find something. <laughs> um, the abilities that I have are, for example, um, like it's a, like a poison grenade. Uh, grenade. Mm -hmm. And there are also um, like fireballs, um, there are melee attacks as well, in form of active abilities. Like there's a teleport, <laughs> this guy is dodging all my attacks. Okay, now I got him. That's why I meant like the katana is sometimes better, because <laughs> I tried to hit him with a hammer, but he was evading all the time. Um, yeah, and there are, um, for example, there are like projectiles mm -hmm. and uh, melee attacks, and there's many, many different ways. Have a look. Another gen run table. Ability rewards, I get a higher chance of having ability rewards in the node selection where I can decide where to go. Or removing brittle from an enemy has a chance of dealing more damage. Um, brittle is one of the ailments. Oh, um, okay. I told about ailments like how like it's an armor penetration, something like this. Um, we will notice it better when we get more items for the build uh, and things will start to uh, synergize uh, even better. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I think you get an optical uh, um, indicator that, yeah. uh, that uh, uh, have this damage on, on it. Right? Exactly. For example, if I poisoned the enemy, um, they will take damage over time. And, um, uh, like, mm, let me think. For example, the poison build. If I go, uh, if I try to get many poison items and if I want to work, uh, let them work together or something, um, you will notice the playstyle um, will be different because you need to hit less, but you will try to use your active abilities and play around the poison. Um, I think I will go to the shop again. In this case. Let's go shopping. <laughs> Let's go shopping. I don't even know how many human senses I have. Uh, some customers that don't like you. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And also the enemies are becoming bigger and bigger, as I said. In this case, of course, I played so many hours, I know how to dodge them. But I can tell you they hit hard. <laughs> you don't want to get hit. Um, these bigger ones, these little drops here that you can see, um, they sometimes slow you. And uh, this is a bad combination because if the blobs slow you and this guy is hitting you, <laughs> um, this is not good for your health bar. Yeah. So before you healed yourself, is this an ability, is this an item you find? Um, it's like a healing potion, we call okay. it a uh, regeneration machine, a mm -hmm. nano generation machine. Um, you have like three in the beginning, but 
if you use them while the run, there are some ways how to get some back. Oh. Uh, so, um, again, this is one thing that you can upgrade for your agent for the runs in the meta progression. Mm -hmm. There are different ways. And if you're really lucky, then you can uh, um, get some of them, uh, I think, while killing enemies. Maybe even when destroying objects, but I think you just get demon essences out of it. Yeah, so I get upgrades, I get uh, even more items, I'm becoming stronger and stronger. So you have different abil uh, uh, abilities you get, you get different currencies. Yeah. How many stuff is in there? There's a lot of stuff, but um, you will um, get into it very quickly because you will understand how they work. And for example, I really like the artworks here, um, how they look, how the things look. And you will uh, quickly notice or like remember how they look like. Yeah. Um, so the plan is to build a good combination out of these. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm just doing is the run where I uh, finished most of the missions. Usually you don't play so long um, without anything happening. Usually um, there's missions and some dialogues between. They are showing you something. There are um, things happening in the game uh, which might shock you or not. <laughs> um, so here in the note selection on the bottom side you can see there's um, the big sign and uh, this will be a boss fight. Oh, okay. So maybe if we have enough time we can reach the boss fight. But if not, you will see it soon. <laughs> I think it's do we want to spoil that of course? Um, I think it's okay. okay. I think this one should be okay. Um, there are so many bosses in the game. There are many bosses, yeah. Okay. So it's not like we are spoiling... Uh, this is like not a spoiler for the one big boss. Um, and also, I think I will show you the boss, but I will not defeat him because uh, I want to show you the awakening room where you can use the expertises and stuff like that. So I think then uh, th this will be uh, a nice sneak preview <laughs> for everything in the beginning, what you can see and what you can use and do. Oh, looks like someone is moving there. Yeah, there's a, <laughs> a lot happening. This is, an, oh, this is a very big guy and I need to be careful because he hits hard and I think I got 78. 71 HP right now, and uh, the boss will come soon. In this case, I think I will just swap to my favorite weapon. Okay, nice. And I got a heavy attack. So this is like my finishing move. <laughs> I okay. think it's working very good when the whole room is full and you are just spinning with the hammer. Exactly. <laughs> On the other hand, you have to load it for a while. So you yeah. need to think about if it's worth or if you will get attacked this time. Um, so again, it's high risk, high reward. And I think this is the last note before the boss. So we will just quickly rush through it. And... To be honest, I'm not sure which boss is waiting for us. Um, got two different ideas. In this state of my uh, save file here in this case, uh, it might be one of two bosses. So we will just see. Um, you saw one of them in the trailer already. And in this case, if it's this one, um, it will be like the revenge, so you can <laughs> you can fight him again. Um, also, as you can see, I'm boosted. I just got a buff, and I was running faster because I was low for a short time. Do you poison the the, the, the 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 enemies or something? Yeah, as well. I think I collected an artifact, um, which uh, which uh, releases poison puddles on the ground. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if the enemies walk through them, they get poison damage. But I think I got an upgrade if I hit them 
on the wall while being poisoned, they oh. get even more damage. Okay. And this is what I talked about with the synergies. There's many, many ways. And uh, of course, it's a very, uh, very uh, hard thing as a tester because we need to test all combinations <laughs> mm -hmm. and we need to find all combinations and uh, check them if they work or not. Um, and we already found some really, really funny ones. Um, I could enter this room, but I don't want to because the boss is waiting for me okay. and I don't want to spend half my HP to get inside. So, yeah, exactly. And now I just got one option. I can't, uh, I can't uh, walk past him or something. I have to fight him. And I think, oh yeah, I know which one is coming. So we will have a little bit of dialogue in this case. Oh no, we won't have dialogue, sorry. This is uh, another boss. This is not one of the bosses I thought about because I was uh, in a different note in my head. Um, yeah. This is the power loader. And as you can see, he's a bit bigger than the others. Um, in the map, there's these um, spots of oil on the ground and I can't, I can't dash. So I think I will let him kill me because you've seen a lot of the game. Um, in the end, I just want to show you the awakening room. And, uh, and we have to show the people the, the dying screen. Uh, yeah, exactly. I just noticed I'm very strong because when he's hitting me, um, okay, now he got me. But uh, when he's hitting me, he's not doing very much damage in this oh, okay. case because I boosted some armor. Um, and yeah, I really, uh, I noticed it really much. Um, this is a, like a summary. You can see how many enemies you killed, how, many, how much damage you've done, mm -hmm. um, how much you healed yourself, a whole, like, a lot of information. Um, some people are interested it, in it. Um, I also like to check it because sometimes it's really interesting if you have a build and you can check how the build worked out in this case. Yeah, sure. Okay. Now we are in the Awakening Room and this is Ada. I talked about Ada, maybe you know her from the tutorial or the trailer. Mm -hmm. um, and I can walk around, this is like our safe place. Um, I can check my resources, how many resources I have in this box. I can talk to the other guys, to the other characters here. Um, and this is like Ada's computer. and. Yeah, I can show you that I upgraded some things. For example, I started with plus six armor. I uh, put two of three points inside this expertise. And here I um, increased my amount of modules. Mm -hmm. So I can take more modules, which boost my stats. And for the beginning, there are some of these things are very important because you saw in the beginning, it's very easy for me or it was very easy for me. And um, yeah. You should just take, for example, module um, plus one, so you can take one more module, so you get more stats and you're stronger. Yeah. And there are so many, so many and things that um, you can see. I think the people don't see it, but you can reset uh, everything. Mm -hmm, exactly. Um, at the moment, it's for free. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, in this case, I've put two points in um, my intellect boost, but I can reset it and. Now I can put it back inside. So this will be for free, um, at least for now. And uh, so this way you can try other things around because in the beginning you won't have that much of the resource. The resource is called AI core in this case. And um, yeah, if you notice, this doesn't feel very well. You just take something. It was not the thing you expected and then you can. Exactly, yeah. And from time to time you will have more and more AI cores in this case, I have 88 mm -hmm. and uh, I can uh, swap around and I can try different builds. For example, I could save up and go for more strength or yeah, in this case, I need 30, but I just got 11 and I need to wait. I need to save some more and then I will get even more strength out of it. Mm -hmm. And then the beginning of the next run will be easier. And uh, yeah, so there's many, many different ways. Um, these expertises where you upgrade your character, there's even an expertise 
um, for something else, like for the rooms and stuff, um, and for even more. So, <laughs> okay. um, as you can see, there's a lot of things you can do. You can uh, you can swap them around, but you don't need to. You can also just go into the run, and uh, you can uh, yeah go to the lab again mm -hmm. and. There will be other regions, of course. Yeah, it but looks there are a lot of <laughs> dark clouds that you cannot see. <laughs> Just wanted to say, so <laughs> if you see this, you can you can imagine there will be many uh, regions uh, in this map. But again, I don't want to talk too much about it. Um, the other regions will be very different to the lab, because, of course, it would be kind of boring to just see the lab all the time. Um, and I think they are very beautiful. And uh, maybe maybe... For the future, also, we can... You can also go outdoor, I yeah, think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a spoiler, but yeah, you cannot go outside the lab. <laughs> okay. So, I think... So, yeah. Then, um, let us know who is uh, developing this, this game, because we are from the, uh, uh, yeah. uh, from the publisher side, and uh, we are not doing this, so... Exactly, yeah. so, um, we are just the publisher, and um, the... Uh, the devs, uh, they are from Viral Studios mm -hmm. and uh, they are from Spain. Oh, okay. So they are uh, like they are doing the game and uh, yeah, I am testing it and we are uh, working with each other all the time yeah. to make a great game. Communicating. Exactly. Yeah. Well, then thank you for showing us yep. the game. And thank you. Uh, when you like the game, wishlist the game, the button must be right under this, the stream. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching and see you, you next time. See ya.